Regina Chelly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Hallelujah. For he whom you did merit to bear, Hallelujah. has risen as he said, Hallelujah. Pray for us to God, Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Hallelujah. For the Lord has truly risen, Hallelujah. Let us pray, O, o God, God, who gave joy to the world, to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Celebrate God with your hands. Celebrate God with your voice. Celebrate God in all that you do, and He will be with you. Listen to Him with your eyes. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. During this Holy Eucharist, let us pray for the soul of Josephine de Souza, the Seventh Day Mass. Along with this intention, let us also pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays, their anniversaries, also offer our personal and the family intention before the Lord. Today we have misters, my cousin brother, Father Sebastian Rodriguez. At present, he's working in the Asansol Diocese, that's in Kolkata, he's a diocesan priest. So hearty welcome, dear father, and welcome to Mira Road Parish. Thank you, Father Pavan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, thank you for the clap you gave me. Okay. That also today invites us to experience the Lord in the Eucharist as we will hear the multiplication of loaves. John never mentions about the Last Supper, unlike other Gospel writers. But he mentions about the bread in chapter 6, extensively symbolizing his own body and his own death on the cross and resurrection. And we are all called to experience that abundance of God feeding us. And yet we know like Andrew, Philip telling us what we have. And what we have is not sufficient, but God is our sufficiency. Conscious of this, our loving Father's invitation to His Son, Jesus. Let's open our hearts to encounter the love and the abundance of our living God in this Holy Eucharist. In order to prepare ourselves, let us become aware of what are the movements, what are the burdens, what I am feeling right now in the presence of my loving God, living Father, to whom I am and everyone is precious. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, O God, hope and light of the sinners, of the sincere, we humbly entreat you to dispose our hearts to offer you worthy prayer and ever to extol you by beautiful proclamation of your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel 
a teacher of the law held in honor by the people stood up and gave orders to put the name outside for a little while and he said to them men of israel take care what you are about to do with this man for before this days theodos rose up claiming to be somebody and a number of men about 400 joined him he was killed and all who followed him were dispersed and came to nothing and drew away some one of the people after him he too perished and all who followed him were scattered so in the present case i tell you keep away from this man and tell them alone for if this plan or this undertaking is of men it will fail but if it is of god you will not be able to overthrow them you might even be found opposing god so they took his advice and when they had called in the the apostles they beat them and charged them not to speak in the name of jesus and let them go then they left the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name and every day in the temple and from house to house they did not cease to teaching and preaching that the christ is jesus the word of the lord thanks be to god our response there is one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord kindly repeat there is one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life whom should i dread our response there is one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord there is one thing i ask of the lord only this do i seek to live in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the lord to in prayer at his temple our response there, there is, is one, one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord i believe i shall see the lord's goodness in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong be straight hearted and wait for the lord our response there is one thing i ask of the lord to live in the house of the lord kindly rise for the gospel sing 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 alleluia sing 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 alleluia sing 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 alleluia sing alleluia men shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god sing 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 alleluia sing 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 alleluia sing 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 alleluia sing alleluia 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd was following him because they saw the signs that he was doing on the sea. Jesus went up to the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, had, was at hand. Lifting up his eyes then and seeing that a large crowd was coming towards him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread so that these people may eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they for so many? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had gi given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, so also the fish as much as they wanted. And when they had eaten their fill, he told his disciples, Gather up the loaves, the leftover fragments, that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up and filled them, filled twelve baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they said, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Perceiving then that they were about to come and take him by force to make him the king, Jesus withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, God of creation, through Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for according to the Holy Spirit. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy every land Every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis R. Pope, Oswald R. Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but when you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people to come and die. 
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Jubilee Prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our brother, in the flame of charity and kindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into the tireless cultivators of the seed of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos. In the sure expectations of a new heaven and a new earth, when with the power of evil vanquished, your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us, pilgrims of hope, yearning for your precious heaven. 
May the same grace spread the joy and peace for Redeemer throughout the earth. To you, our God, eternally blessed. Be glory and praise forever. Amen. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory evermore. Lord forever, Lord forevermore. From the ends of all the earth and out beyond the stars, gathered in your presence we are one. Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>